Good morning, everyone. Friday, May 24th, 2024, 5.32 a.m. Just now we have a little Circle K gas station in it. Got myself a coffee, coconut rum coffee with hazelnut crema and some sugar to be exact. Now, on my way to work. Well, hope y'all have a good safe day today. Hope everyone stays warm, stays dry, stays cool, stays safe, whatever y'all situation is, because we're all in this together. Miss Vonani, hope you have a good day at school today. Daddy loves you, Miss Johnny, and we see you again a little after eight. Pick you up for your doctor's appointment, and then after your doctor's appointment, taking you back to school, going back to work. And then after work, I'll be coming home. You can get home and be getting your ID to get the numbers out. So I'll be off there or else I'll probably be here tonight for the weekend. Well, Daddy loves you and Miss Johnny. And really want you to have a good day. Well, I want you to have a good Memorial Day weekend. The numbers on you. Everybody else out there, guys, I want y'all to have a good Memorial Day, Memorial day weekend. I hope everyone gets to do something fun. Hope y'all get to enjoy the weather over the weekend. Make memories with family, friends, and loved ones. I don't know what I'm gonna do for a Memorial Day yet. I'm thinking about having a barbecue. Well, I'm thinking having a barbecue, hanging out, going to the beach or something. Well, probably won't be going to the beach, won't have a kid out so. of I like go hiking on a trail. That's what I do. There's a I-95 southbound. The way to walk. Pictures of them I do it on the Instagram. I got a new Instagram account, guys. Um, so I'll post the uh, thing for it up here today. Boy, y'all won't go to the Instagram account. I'm trying to set, up, set the Instagram account up with. I've already set it up, so I get the link for my for this YouTube channel later on it, too. I'm just trying to set that up, connect the two. Instagram last and I will say that. Now, uh, if they're a real person or not, I don't know, because it could be like Facebook and stuff, you know, people being bots, not real people and that stuff, you know. But the, that I don't know if it's a bot or whatnot, but if I know, it's time to buy if the person talks to people, but. Oh, 
thunder showers yesterday, but there really weren't much of anything, honestly. It rained a little bit, very, very short, a couple of rumble of thunder, two, two little strikes of lightning, and that was it. So, uh, the thunder showers we got yesterday, they were over the thick of an eye.
stuck in the building. Yeah. The IRS is in there, and the FBI, and Senator Susan Collins, and all them people have offices in there. shouldn't have rules like that for places like that because we pay for their shit honestly they work for us not the other way around so therefore the public should be allowed to walk right in you know without making an appointment go right in get their social security cards go right in get a copy of their tax returns if they need it or anything else they need in there they should not have to make an appointment because we do not work for the IRS, we do not work for Social Security, we do not work for Senator Collins, we do not work for any of them. They work for us. We pay their paychecks, we pay their salary. If it weren't for us, it wouldn't be nothing. wouldn't have a job. I mean, as lazy as they all are, you know, I'll tell you right now, they're lazy. Susan Collins, Jared Golden, all of them, all the senators, all senators, all politicians are fucking lazy. They never work a day in their lives because instead they'll go around making a lot, making a lie, promises, and they'll lie to you, making promises that they cannot fulfill, and they know it from the beginning, just to try and get you to vote for them, so they can sit in the office and just watch TV and play with themselves all day and not do shit. That's all any politician does, so. And people keep voting for them, which is stupid. Honestly, like, if, if we expect change, we should kick all those politicians out, put term limits on them. On all Congress, on all politicians, just like there is on the president, put term limits on them so they can't sit in there and get rich and get their, make their fat asses get fatter and then get richer and stuff their pockets and be corrupt like they are and stuff their pockets with our money that we that we pay them and that we make for the country. So it really needs to be term limits for all Congress, all all politicians, no more than two year term limits. Once the two years are up, that's it. They can never run again. That's how it should be. Can never, ever run for any political office again after two years. That way you don't get the lifetime lifetime assholes in there that are only in there to get rich off everybody. They're only in there for the money to steal off everybody. You don't get the career politicians and stuff that are corrupt as hell that way. Alright, pull on up on the Satcher Street. They should make that too when they're running 
pay everything out of their own pocket instead of accepting money from the big corporations because when they accept money from the big corporations they're being bought by them and they're doing what the corporations want them to do so they should make it make it federally illegal for any politicians to ex that are running for any senators or anything like that any public office to be illegal to use any funds from, from donations and funds from corporations and stuff like that so we got to run run on just what they can run on money wise and that way they can't pocket extra money and they can't do any of that but anyways, I am now here at work.